it's time for another re-review by Mega Train Lover. Today we are looking at a rather special locomotive, um, which and it is one of my favourites. It's absolutely beautiful. You may have guessed it from the title, but today we're looking at the Hornby Railroad Mallard. Just bring it into full. There we go. Now, as you can see, she's an A4 Pacific, and um, and her name's Mallard, of course, fastest steam engine in the world. And this is in British Railways Green, um, and her number is 60022, so uh, not 4468, because that was the number uh, when she worked with LNER, but this is when she worked with British Railways, and it's got the late crest, so this is... 1960s period. This was the livery, which what well, was late 1950s, early 60s period. So this is the time, set at the time probably when um, she was in her last years, uh, because she was withdrawn in 1963, I believe, from a regular service. So yeah, but without further ado, let's uh, get on to the detail of this exquisite model. Now, just look at that. Wow. Isn't she amazing? Firstly, we'll start at the wheels. Just look at them. Just look at the shine on the coupling and connecting rods. They are beautifully well detailed. Um, for railroad model, the detail is excellent. Absolutely excellent. She's got sprung buffers, as usual. Um, we would we didn't really expect that on a railroad model, um, so yeah. But some, but there are quite a few railroad models which do have uh, sprung buffers. <clears throat> and if you just look at the front, just it's got that. It's full of character. It's got the very that very characteristic front end of an A4 Pacific. And she's got a double chimney, as uh, I think Mal Mallard had a double ch chimney as well. And there's her name, Mallard, six, and uh, there's number, six, double O, double two. And her shed code is 34A, which is King's Cross, King's Cross uh, Top Shed, as it was known. Um, she's a 462 Pacific, so she's got four wheels at the front which are um, there to help support the front of the engine and to guide her around corners. Six wheels in the middle, which are the driving wheels, and two wheels at the back, which um, support the rear part of the engine. These are flangeless because the, these are fixed, and if these had flanges on, then um, it would keep derailing. So, that's there. Um, now with railroad models, the, the spare flanged wheel doesn't come. So, but I'm pretty sure you can um, buy some spares from eBay or something. But wow, there are no windows, but um, yes, yeah, understandable for a railroad model. You have to keep the costs down. This is DCC fitted, by the way, um, and uh, ninety. It cost me ninety pounds. So, it was a bit expensive, but it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. Plus, it's one of my favourite steam locomotives. I love the A4 Pacifics. I love um, their, their very distinctive shape of... Um, at the fr at the fr especially at the front end. And this was never taken off, unlike the uh, LMS Princess Coronations. The streamlining was never taken off. Um, but during, um, however, uh, to make maintenance easier, however, during the war, they um, took off the side valances, which were never reinstated in service, because before the war, they, they had side valances, which covered about um, approximately uh, a quarter of the wheels, well, covered a, a, up to about there. Um, so you couldn't really see much of the wheels. We covered this bit as well and uh, you can see it on Mallard uh, to, um, and uh, <clears throat> with the side balances and I think you can see it on Bittern as well which is uh, currently on the main line um, you 
get lovely handrails on both sides and rivets all the way along the roof they obviously hold the two the streamlined cladding together but I love delivery <coughs> excuse me I love delivery just just this beautiful dark green with red stripes well red and black stripes striking I mean I obviously love the um, the bl the LNER Garza blue livery um, but I haven't got round to buying one with that yet I'll probably buy um, one of the A4 Pacifics in the Great Gathering collection which Hornby are releasing uh, soon later this year probably around uh, July June July I'm not too sure but I'll be getting one of those because uh, there's a, they're obviously going to produce uh, six uh, types and there's going to be a limited edition of 500 of each so I must better get one soon but I'm not too sure which one I'm planning on getting it'll probably be um, Sir Nigel Gresley or uh, uh, something like that <clears throat> but I don't know I have a I'll, I'll check anyway let's have a look at the cab oh, wow. so it's, it's um, not painted but it is very nice I mean you get the firebox there and all the pipe work and the um, uh, gauges and dials it's very nice um, and there's the connection to the tender the side the the roof fence don't open but that's uh, understandable it's a railroad model so uh, you have to keep the costs down um, but you do get safety safety valves these are the safety valves and the whistle I forgot to mention is at the front um, as we all know on the A4 Pacifics and they all have that distinctive chime whistle um, you get brake rods which were already fitted I did not fit these on these were already fitted when I got it so that's a top mark for Hornby already fitting uh, brake rods but anyway, let's have a look at the tender. Wow, the tender's just as nice. You get a very, you get a nice coal load, and it's a corridor tender, which um, I don't think Mallard ever had a corridor tender, but um, uh, maybe she did. But uh, I know that her normal tender uh, is non is a non corridor tender. <coughs> Sorry. Underneath, uh, you get the rear wheel which turns for, so that it can negotiate uh, corners. Um, and this is obviously from the older tender drive models. Um, so there would be a big, a large ring field motor in there uh, powering the outside wheels. And in fact, it, I opened this up um, and it does have. A, uh, it still has the motor block for the ring field motor. Um, get the hand, uh, the, the handles there, you know, to control the water flow and stuff like that. The pin, to which uh, goes into the hole, like that. Water filler cap, and there's the corridor for the tender. And you get nice handrails as well. And there's a little porthole for the corridor as well and little footsteps to uh, gain access to the top of the tender and there's the door which is obviously connected to coaches and sprung buffers as well so all in all this is very nice tender but and the whole locomotive is very nice as well so we just uh, hold it look at her isn't she amazing wow but now we just ha uh, have one thing to do that's to put on the track. So Mallard is now on the track and it's time to run this beauty beast. So let's select her number which is number 22. And off she goes. Look at that. Wow. She's um, at halfway speed. As you can see. And she's handling it. She's handling, handling it beautifully. 
atmosphere. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Let's speed her up. Uh, Cause she is an A4 Pacific after all. Oh, that's more like it. So this is uh, maximum speed. Get a shot of her wheels. Let's see some uh, line side shots. Yeah, very, very nice. <clears throat> wow. Now, I forgot one thing. Well, not that I forgot, but I decided to do this. Run Mallard with coaches. So let's just see her back up. As you see, I've got a rake of uh, free LNER teak coaches. Well, these are Resley coaches in the teak livery. And uh, Malal's just backing up. Slowly. There we go. So, let's bring you to the front. Uh, there we go. <coughs> and let's see how I pull away. Wow. Okay, this is only three coaches and she can pull a lot more but I just but I thought they suit her the best because she is an LMER built engine after all Wow so look at that let's get a few line side shots and speed her up Yeah, that, that really looks like typical uh, Express from the 1950s and then any art the BR Express along the East Coast main line. She's in BR livery after all. Wow. In conclusion, I think if you have the money, you should you should buy her. She's just an excellent addition to your layout. Wow. I recommend her highly for any VR steam layout in the late 50s or in the late crest era. Or for anyone who's a train enthusiast. She's just, she, she's just a real must-have on your layout. 
Although some people may go for the uh, LNER Garter Blue livered version of Mallard, but this is just as nice. So thanks for watching and see you in the next Wii review.